Originally, it might not have been a virgin birth, but God's only son. The only God and only son, that is, the church only has the only truth. All other men's truth is pseudo-truth. Personifications are a dangerous thing, become blind belief in the letters. The mythical reality behind the Holy Mary fabula is something that has been and therefore can be used again and again. People know about this God in love with mankind myths. Zeus comes to Leda and she receives him. Freyr sends a ray of divinity to Gerður and she does not understand other than worldly goods and abundance. Monogod comes to Miriam, but she does not get a chance to say yes or no. Roman patriarchy is women disdain, house, donkey, woman, money are possessions of a male, dominus. Another male should not steal these goods from their owner by commandment. The National Theatre in Iceland did have a piece on stage about a god and a human girl, this known story. God in the sky spots a human girl, nice idea, can have several layers of understanding according to its man's stage of evolution. The National Theatre of Iceland chose the porno way. The god sent his pennies to the girl on earth. The pennies was acted by a sword. They tried to make it funny. Skirnir carrying phrase sword that all the time symbolized phrase penis to Gerður. This was year 2000 Christian era when the church was celebrating their Anno Domini Zero, which is a bit off, some four years off to or fro, probably too late. Holy Mary was written in Rome approximately Anno Domini 200 when a CE calendar, that's Christian era calendar, was invented. Had it been in this national theatre piece, the monotheistic God sending his pennies to Miriam, Holy Mary, there would have been protesting noise from the evolved religion's employees. Blasphemy, blasphemy. But true heathens never care. In a way, like Buddha people and Hindus never say a word. Each man innocently lives. His state of consciousness would never try to thrust his understanding of life onto others.